So to the walk around video, this you need our FM 177527A 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 dark sky in color, trim level 84. It is uh, pre-owned one, sorry. So this customer got the buck deflectors on it and also got the 3M protection as well on the hood all the way around and over here, fender side, any painted part and so does the bumper. You will notice a few of these dust trap inside of the expel, but that's an easy fix. I did the walk around, there's no dents that I have found. No scratches either. Typically, people who own these vehicles, they take really good care of these. All is good on the side. Got the 6-2. Rims are all good. Tire tread is pretty good as well. And I already got the splash guard over there as well. Got the 8-inch tubular running board. Body is pretty good. Doors are good. Rain visor. And this is the driver's side. No dents as you can see. And I haven't found scratch. It will be the capless fuel entry. Standard box. That's another hard find on the half ton or any other 84 trim level I should say. Crew cab standard box is hard to find. Splash guard on the back. Box looks good and I already got the trifold tunnel. Tailgate looks good. No dents or anything I just want to show you. Corner stuff. Multi-pro tailgate as well. Dual exhaust. 84. And this is a passenger side on the box. All looks good. And, there, and this is the passenger side back door. Box is lined. They did use the box, that's for sure. And you can see a little bit of wears on the rails, but not a big deal. And then if you're buying a truck, I'm thinking you buy a truck for trucks, so. I will show you the inside condition. This is the driver's side, front row. Perforated leather with the Kalahari accent. No tears or rips or anything like that and this will be detailed over there just a little dirt and lock and unlock memory seats and whatnot I will show you all the leather condition first they do have the storage over here this is the plastic com compartment this is pretty big but then they do have that and also over here not a lot of wears or anything like that back seat doesn't really Look like it's been used. And then this will be the cup holder. And then also back seats are heated as well over here. And also if you have any other passenger, they can charge their phones, type C, USB and 12 volts over there and air vent. And then back also comes with the liner. I will show you the leather condition on passenger side. Passenger side looks good as well. Leather condition, everything looks good. A lot of headroom. I'll show you the passenger side front row. This will be the front row passenger side. Leather condition looks good. No rips. And this one doesn't show much as much wear like the driver. And I'll show you some of the features. So I will start from the door. So we do have a blind zone spot and memory seat setting, one for you, one for the other person if there's any other driver. This will be the power folding mirror. And then we got the Bose sound system. 
and then now electric park brake auto for high for low to high this one will be the Falkland cargo and like a tail sorry box and whatnot and this one will be the light adjustment for the mirror in front of the mirror there's a light so this button is for that one obviously just the headlamps and whatnot light settings are auto over there and over here you have a mode selector so you can do the haul mode, tow mode, off-road, sport mode, tour, anything like that, whichever you prefer. Collision alert since we are on the loaded. I just want to show you the heads-up display. You can see the heads-up display over there. And then when you press the collision alert, it's hard to see it there, but you have the gap adjust. So when you want to do it and whatnot. Over there, it is steering wheel for the winter time or the summer. Voice command, voice pass through, and calls. Since it's got the tech package, you will get the heads up display over there. And then this whole screen is the digital dash. So if you put it on the tow mode, this one will change into the transmission fluid temperature instead of the battery voltage. See, that's another neat little thing. And then push button start. Trailer brake, type C, USB, this one, full house cable unit. And then you do have this one on the box of the truck as well. And then wireless charging. Anything iPhone 8 or the next generation or most of the Android or Samsung, whichever phone you have, might most of them are compatible. Lane assist, park assist, auto stop and start, tailgate only down, not the ups. This one, hazard light traction control this is the one that will enable this one that are placed in the back of the box downhill descent control both passenger and driver has heated seat back back and bum or the ventilated seat and then passenger will have the same setting for them climate control will be the dual zone climate control you can sync it or just do separate thing as well those ones are pretty self-explanatory over here. AM, FM, XM if you do subscribe over there. Phone, navigation. So 19 and up. Their nav system is really good. Like this much responsibility, responsiveness. <laughs> Very hard to find from the any other manufacturer nav. Over here, we do have an Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, user setting, trailering. So you can do up to three to four trailer, and then you will kind of memorize the gains and any other setting that you may do on your trailers. And then you do have a camera view. Since we got the tech package, it will give you the 360 view as well. And also, this rear view mirror will be the rear view streaming mirror generation 2, I believe so. And if you don't want that, you can just do the regular mirror. And this will be just the auto dimming. But once you flip it, this is especially good if you do have a trailer in the back or maybe your cabin is really full. And you can do dim up and down. Like zoom in and out. On the highway, I love this one. And then you can do like up and down as well. So those ones are that over here. You do have a quite a bit of a view. This is the back. This is the front front really front and this is your hitch view like really focus on your hitch and those ones are the yeah so you got a ton of view and then obviously once you put it in reverse it will just like automatically show you too and then while you're driving it will show you only up to eight seconds so those ones are that over here we do have a sunroof And obviously a tilt or the slide to open and then this one this in the middle is for the other that little guy that's the one universal home remote over there as well so you can sync in your garage remote yeah i mean this is will be as fully loaded as half ton can be so i'm sure You'll be happy with these one. Got the little bit of lift from the factory too. So you will be sitting a little bit higher compared to this 2500. That's pretty much it for the video. An exact kilometer as of right now will be 
15,043 kilometer. So yeah, if you have any question, just let me know. I should be able to answer most of your question. And thank you so much.